Welcome to Craig's Gun Channel. This week we're going to revisit the Phoenix Arms HP-22. The HP-22 has a lot going for it. It's a simple design and is an affordable option for a casual plinking pistol that for its cost is surprisingly accurate. It not only is good for just casual plinking, but it can be used to further develop marksmanship skills. In prior videos I've covered some modifications that can be made to this pistol, some barrel options, and how to repair the magazine catch should it break. I've also covered the pistol itself more in depth, how it shoots, and basic field strip procedures. This week we're going to look at how to remove and reinstall the firing pin and its rebound spring. This may be needed should a detailed cleaning be needed or if there is a parts breakage. Firing pins can and do wear out, so it's useful to know how to replace them on these pistols. This procedure is relatively simple and all that's needed is a .05 inch hex head Allen wrench. Let's take a look. Before working on any firearm, you need to make sure it is free and clear of any ammunition. With the Phoenix Arms HP-22, uh, because of the safety interlock and everything that's in there, unless you've modified your pistol already, uh, I have a video that shows how to do that uh, separately. I'll put a link to it. Uh, but assuming that uh, yours is still in the original configuration, uh, you can't take the magazine out unless it's on safe. And we want the slide to be back anyway, so the first step would be to go ahead and pull the slide back. And then lift up on the safety and slide lock to lock the slide back. Now with that we can now see that the chamber area is free and clear of any ammunition and since it's on safe we can take the magazine out and it's also free and clear. The next step uh, would be to remove the slide and barrel. Now you have to remove the barrel first. This is the lock piece here that locks the barrel in so you'll be pushing that forward and then you can tilt the barrel up and off the frame. Now you can do this with the slide lock back like that. It actually is, uh, it helps to do it that way. So go ahead and push forward and then you can lift up and out. Now you can see there the spring is compressed, the recoil spring, and that holds it in position. Now the next step would be to take the slide off of the frame. So we'll go ahead and put our magazine back in for that. You have to have the magazine in for the safety to be able to take it off of safe and remove the slide lock. Now when you go to move the slide forward, when the compression is taken off of that spring, it'll try to, to get away from you. So you want to make sure you put your finger over the opening and then you can pull down on the slide lock safety and you can slide the slide forward and off. Here's our lock piece and spring. And now we can just take a look at the, the slide itself. Now with the HP-22, there is a firing pin safety. It's right here. Uh, that's on the red dot there means that it is uh, in the fire position. When you put this down in that position, so the red dot is not showing, this locks the firing pin from being able to go forward far enough to fire the cartridge even if the hammer would hit the back of the firing pin. So it's uh, just an additional safety. Uh, so you'll actually want to take that off when we go to remove the firing pin because that will also you know, hold it in place. Now the reason why you would need to remove the firing pin would be mostly if it just gets so much gunk and everything into the firing pin channel there that it no longer is igniting the cartridges properly. 22 rimfire ammunition is notoriously dirty and so a lot of crud and gunk will eventually get in there and you'll need to clean it out. Now this isn't something that this is not routine field stripping and routine cleaning. This is something you really only need to do if you're starting to notice issues where the firing pin is not igniting the cartridge uh, and you're starting to notice that as a problem. Or if it just, you can look in there and you can tell it's really gunky. So uh, the first step would be to remove this retaining section right here. Now that's actually the rear plate and that's held in. It basically just slides out and down and then that allows the firing pin to come out and it's retained with what they call the rear plate screw. It's right there. It's a little hex head screw. Uh, it's a .05 inch Allen head so it's very small. So you go ahead and basically get one of those and put it in and then you just remove it. So go ahead and take that out. And it's longer than what you might think it would be. So just give you a heads up on that. So that's it right there. Go ahead and stick it on the head of our Allen key. 
and as you can see it's got a, a slot in it and that's because this actually was it would cut its own threads uh, as they put it in and uh, it helps to, to clear that out so it goes in properly so go ahead and set that aside and that is what holds this in so at this point you can just slide this down now there is a little spring in there a, a rebound spring on the firing pin so when you go to slide this down that might try to pop out so you just might want to put your finger over it and then you can just reach in there with something I'm gonna have to have a little bit of substance to it and slide that out and then that comes off and then there's our firing pin and you can get it out the spring might not want to slide right out but we'll go ahead and take it out just get something in there now it goes along the bottom of the channel and it's right there now inside the slide this goes in like so and then that spring basically sits like that in the slide so just as far as configuration so it's on the you have this slot in here the spring goes toward the bottom of that and then the firing bin on top so at this point you need to to you know get the pipe cleaner or, or whatever uh, you use to, to clean that out and uh, you know spray some 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 solvent in there and uh, some oil you know basically get that out and get it uh, clean try to get as much crud out as you can uh, once it's clean put get, make sure it is a little bit of oil that's in there uh, for lubrication and corrosion prevention and then to reassemble you just put the firing pin in and as I said that bottom channel piece goes toward the bottom so to go in just like this Oh, almost forgot the spring. Put the spring in first. Now the spring, like I said, you go ahead and you can kind of leave it poking out a little bit. And then put your firing pin in. Go like that. And it slide in. Then make sure that it operates there so it pushes in. And you know everything seems to be functioning with that get our back plate here the rear plate and it just goes into the notch right there on either side and then of course the large notch is what goes over the firing pin and then, then to push it all the way down you'll need to push the firing pin in slightly and then you can push down the rest of the way and then once the hole is lined up with the rear plate You can go ahead and put your the retaining screw in and kind of gently turn it in. Make sure it's going in smooth and it's not cross-threaded. It should be fairly easy to turn if it's going in right. And then, yeah, keep turning until it's flush. And once it's flush with the rear of the back plate, that basically just keeps it from sliding out. And you don't want it to protrude any. There. And then once that's in, you're all finished. So now you can reassemble everything. So the first step, you put the lock piece in. Then put your slide on. Once the lock piece is in, and the slides in then you can put your spring in so you put it over the the lock piece the post on it and then push down in the front so it's down in its recess just like that now you put your finger over the that whole thing there and pull the slide back now you're compressing that spring so don't let it get away from you once it's pulled back all the way you can lift up on the slide lock now at this point just kind of push down with your finger make sure the springs down in there and uh the springs be compressed take our magazine out you don't really have to but it allows you to see that pin a lot better that, that for the barrel and 
this notch here will go on to this pin right here. So you just tilt it. And then you need to pivot down. And then you just keep pushing down until it locks in place. Make sure it's locked in. Put our magazine back in so we can take it off of safe. And we are reassembled. I hope that this information is of value. And if you like the video, I would ask that you hit the like button and subscribe if you want to continue to see more like this. I value your comments and feedback. And as always, until next week, stay safe.